What's going on everybody? We are back. It's only been four days since Heatwave Flea, two days since my birthday. Sorry I look like absolute trash. I feel pretty, uh, I feel pretty, uh, eh, you know? Uh, both kids got sick. Everybody got sick, dude. So after the event, I had to shut it down. Man, they, I had tickets to the Bulls game on my birthday. The whole Bulls team got COVID. So, uh, they postponed that. So that sucked. But it's whatever, dude. It's just postponed. I'll, I'll see him again. But, you know, uh, last few days have been pretty whatever. It's been nice outside, but weird. It's been, like, super crazy windy, dude. Tornadoes in December. Like, come on. Like, what's going on around here? But anyway, let's get into the good stuff, y'all. I, uh, well, first of all, first things first, my mom, my lovely mother, got me this, like, incredible, incredible picture for my birthday. Sorry, I was just looking at it again. I'll show you guys right now. Uh, this is, this is just insane. The detail. Wow, I love, this is awesome. Like, my mom, everybody knows, like, I grew up, I played basketball, like, my whole life. Um, I was gonna, like, honestly, play, like, that was my, my, uh, you know, main drive or goal, whatever it was to play basketball for a long time, or to try, whatever, but football, sadly, in high school ended that for me, fucked up my leg, had broke both my tibia and my fibia, they popped off of my ankle bone, had to have a bunch of, like, surgeries, have all that shit, so, never was the same. Couldn't ball anymore either, so pretty much gave that up, which sucked because I basketball was literally life for me. Ball was life. Uh, my dad coached for like 20 something years before I was even born. Then coached, continued to coach after that. I grew up just ball, ball, ball every day, all day, all the time. I even coached at, uh, while I was in school. Younger, I was like coaching like the North Prairie, like the school I went to or whatever, and some other little things, whatever. Enough about me, because that's lame. Old, old glory days. I'm just an old man now. Uh, turned 29 two days ago, so that sucks. But uh. Just kidding. So one more beautiful year of my 20s. Guess what though? Can't remember exactly what day these dropped, but we hit another sneaker. Boom. We got the Nike Daybreak Golden Gals. I believe these are. These are actually pretty crazy uh, in person. I went for the Dunks too. I didn't go for the, oops, I didn't go for the other ones. Uh, the other ones are whatever. They were pretty high retail. These are only 110 retail. Not really going for a whole lot, but you know, we've been doing these events and sneakers have been selling, like sold a bunch more sneakers. These are the only sneakers I have left. I only have these four right here. So more inventory. And also today the uh, Jordan 1 Gore-Tex Light Bones dropped, hit on those, didn't hit my size. So that's good though. Cause I was, <laughs> I was probably gonna keep those. So got a size 11 on the way. But uh, earlier today, Went to Endless Treasure. I uh, I won an auction, so I went ahead, ran up there, and she uh, Dawn said that they had a bunch of other like T-shirts or whatever, and some other things that I wanted to go through before they put them out on the racks. So I said, heck yeah! So I shot up there. Glad I did because there was some dope stuff. And oh, dude, I can't wait. After this auction is over too, there's another auction going on right now. Um, when this one's over, if I win these things, yo, it's gonna be insane. Some of those T-shirts that are up for auction, it's like, oh, I'm not gonna say anything right now because I don't want to get my hopes up because someone is being a complete butthole on the fucking thing there. Just like bidding and taking bids off, like bidding an outrageous amount and taking them, I don't know what he's doing, but we'll see. Um, let's just dive into what I got. Here's one thing that I won off the auction. Well, I only won one thing, but here's the thing I got off the auction. This, woohoo, 1987 Harley crew neck. Look at that beautiful majestic eagle. Just holler and freedom at you. No tag, tag was cut obviously, like all these, everyone always cutting damn tags off back in the day, but you got the 1987 stamp or time stamp right there. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Glad I got that, I only paid five, five dollars for that. Then I got a pile, this is all the stuff that I got um, from them, like that was in the back, like, you know, I just like send out a little offer, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is exactly, but just offered them some money just, and they accepted it, so, Boom, there we go. But here we go, we got the Wild West Warner Brothers Studio, like button up. This thing is, it's whatever. These don't really sell like crazy, but I had to pick it up because look at this embroidery. Oh my God, thread count 10,000 million? I don't even know, dude. Who knows? I don't sew, but this is crazy. Detail. Whew. I'll cheer on the farm. You Yellowstone fans, get that one for yourself. Uh, but here we go. We got the dude vintage single stitch. You all slaving for that single stitch. And then you got the M&M's tag. 
Uh, there's no date on here though, but made in the USA. Wait, is there a date? Uh, no, no date. Uh, that does have a back hit. Shazam! It's just the back of them. I've seen this t-shirt before. I remember this when I was younger, actually, this shirt. Uh, pretty dope. I remember when, like, the commercials would come on TV, whatever, when they introduced, like, some of these M&Ms, and I don't know. Those were always pretty cool commercials as a child. But that was something I got from that bag from them in the back. Then this, too. Oof. Those friggin' ice houses, dude. I don't drink over four years sober now, but the single stitch ice house is pretty cool. Some of you out there really like this. I gotta do some OxyClean on some of these, but it's on the Haynes Beefy. Uh, these two were just hanging up in the store. I'll just get these out of the way. You got the Chicago Bears, like, embossed, embroidered. I don't know. It's like both. <laughs> I don't know, but it's the, the nutmeg. You got the patch down here. Long sleeve. This needs a little oxy too, but I don't know. All together, I only paid like, I won't even lie, I only paid $30 for all this stuff all together, so there you go on that. Uh, I know I was sitting earlier, I was not going to tell you, but just told you. But Dr. McGillicuddy's, that's pretty sick. Single stitch. Beautiful tag. Hey, or I mean, uh, Fruit of the Loom Best. Woo! Gotta love it. Then here's a few more things that I snagged out of the back before they put them up in the rack. You got the, uh, no, oh my God, why can't I think? Lady and the Tramp, boom, right? Why am I drawing a complete blank right now on that? But the Disney Store tag, uh, needs a little oxy, yeah, it's whatever, but thread count, million, dope. Uh, you got the Snoopy, well, it's like the, whatever, the dog, uh, Peanuts tag. Not really sure exactly what year is on this one too, but I believe it's made in the made in the USA. Yeah, size large there. Another thread count high. And then I'll save that one. You got this sleeper here. I had to pick this up though, because it's like that Mickey big, big print all over. I like it. Uh, it's not too bad of a sleeper. It's kind of a small, but it's got the sleeves like this. I don't know. We'll see. This is going to go for definitely like super cheap. But yeah, as you can see there, sleepwear, uh, one size fits all. Woo wee! Last but not least, 1995 Budweiser Frog t-shirt. Man, there you go, timestamp there. On the Hanes Heavyweight, 50-50, gotcha. Thought I was gonna say beefy. Single dingle, of course. I fucking hate that, single dingle. Anyway, uh, that was not bad, actually, for a uh, quick little morning. And yesterday, or yesterday the shoes came in. This morning, got this stuff. It's still only like 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm probably honestly just gonna go ahead and fire up the Xbox because literally every single person I know and uh, every person in this area is coming down with the vid. So uh, I'm gonna shut it down because I got tickets for the 22nd for the Bulls game. Oh, hopefully they all come back and don't uh, postpone that one too. So I'm gonna shut this shit down, chill out, catch me on Twitch though because I'll be doing that. Your boy's always doing something. Uh, I'll be on there and uh, yeah. Oh, sold that like 80 bucks. Market's like tough right now, dude. People, people were spending money like crazy. And then all of a sudden everybody just stopped and everything just, everything got like shut down again. But anyway, you guys already know. Uh, appreciate it. Stay tuned, see what else we get into. We're back. Um, it's been a few days. I won't even lie, I've done nothing this week. Um, it's been a, it's been crazy. A lot of birthdays, a lot of people being sick, a lot of holidays. This is always a stressful time for me. It's just so many family birthdays and my own birthday around Christmas time. Of course, but anyway, we uh we got some we got some more shoes in. We got the Jordan One Gore-Tex Light Bones. Those came in the mail in this box right here, as you can see. Um, I uh, guess I gotta show you. Fast. Might as well pop the box, even though I'm gonna have a, I, I got a little bone to pick with Nike, dude. They uh they set this box. I actually gotta fix it. It's it was a lot worse. It was super dinged up, and I, I know it doesn't even look that bad right now. It looks like I'm kind of being a little a little be. Kind of a little, you know, whatever. I'm not going to swear. But the, yeah, this was way more beat up. This was pretty much all falling apart. I had to put it back together. That's lame. I've never seen them individually wrap shoes either. I don't know if it's because they're the Gore-Tex ones. But uh, yeah, this is going to be my first look at them as well. I've been slacking on the sneaker reviews. I won't even lie. But ooh, holy smoke. These are nice, dude. Dang. Very nice. Too bad I didn't hit my size. There is a ton of different materials on this bad boy. That's hard as a rock. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but we got suede leather, the Gore-Tex material. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's like, that's probably obviously like waterproof type stuff, but the suede, how is this gonna be Gore-Tex and like waterproof in like winter and stuff, but have suede? Like water literally destroys suede. So that's different, but I don't know. The bottom's pretty cool. It looks like a cow kind of, right? 
a cow print, but yeah, gonna have a review on these. Uh, I still need to re do a review on the Daybreaks, Golden Gals. As you can see, we still got some sneakers here available. Another one added in there. Got a couple used shoes down there. Uh, yeah, I'm like I said, it's been a it's been a slow week. Oh, there's one thing that I picked up. It is the Jetsons. Got this from Endless Treasure as well in one of those auctions, but it's like the Jetsons 1993 Hanna Barbera. Uh, it doesn't have a tag, unfortunately, single stitch, but it also it does have a backside. Sick. It's kind of like that Eminem one that I just got the other day from them too. Um, and then also there was another auction they had. Uh, I won two, two or three more like vintage Harley. Uh, pieces i'm not gonna give it away yet you guys will see that here in a couple days i'll probably you know what i might just end up throwing this up for because it's been a while since i threw a vlog up and then go ahead and start the vlog with those for next week but yeah i don't know it's, it's crazy uh so i'm gonna head out to the mall today actually see if we can get some more cool stuff see what nike's got i got me a gift card for my birthday so never know nike outlet sometimes has some crazy stuff like returns or whatever you guys have seen i've done videos there before but yeah Sorry this one lacks major, um, I'm busy, yo. <laughs> and uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I guess like so, somebody come over, if you're local, somebody come over and buy some bundles, dude. I got insane amount of inventory bundles right here alone. And then plus, we still got all this stuff here. The dope stuff hanging. Actually this sold and that sold. So that's gotta get out of here. Um, yeah, that's about it. So. <sighs> like comment subscribe thank you all for tuning in appreciate it a lot apologize for this whack video but i promise from here on they're gonna be a lot better the holidays are almost over uh and all the birthdays are almost over and people are all getting back not being sick anymore so we're back at it like crack addicts stay tuned see what we come up with